can now join us coming down the other side of Col de la Bonne, which is one of the highest paved roads in Europe. Uh, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful evening here, and the weather well, is actually really mild. It's 16 degrees, it's not much wind. It can be quite severe up here, even in the winter. Oh, little marmot. Marmont? Marmont? What are Marmot. they called? Marmots. Did you see it? <laughs> tiny little marmot. Hopefully, I can play you back a little slow mo on that GoPro, but it was tiny at the, at the side of the road. Um, gorgeous little thing. The last time I went down here, I think the last time, or one of the times I went down here, uh, a good few years ago, there was a really nice, sleepy little village. Uh, a, 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 disused a what would you call it not disused um, it's not remote uh, uninhabited uh, anyway one of those I'm sure loads of you are screaming at the screen right now trying to put the words in my mouth it's been a long day um, but yeah it's a beautiful little village with lots of ruins um, but the last time I went through, they actually looked like they were doing up some of them. So hopefully people will start living there again because although you're very remote up here, it's just such a beautiful part of the world. Another one. <laughs> awesome. Down we go, down we go, down we, down we, down we go. Thankfully, if you watch the first part of this video on my main channel, uh, you'll know that I was struggling <laughs> for fuel. Uh, but that was based on the driving I was doing going up the hill. I think it went down to about 60 kilometers of range by the time we reached the top. That's back up to 84 now, which is very uh, welcome because there's not too many petrol stations around here that I can see at least anyway. This is just a lovely bit of road to cruise down. I don't even feel the need to push or go fast. Try to use the brake as little as possible and just carry the speed in and flow our way down this amazing mountain pass. To think this is what, middle of July now? And you'd expect it to be pretty busy up here and it's really not I think we've lucked it out it's middle of the week um, well, early in the week it's a weekday that's what I was meant to say um, it's just us and the oh was there another one I've got a silent Lou passenger next to me you can talk you know you can say things I know people only ever get the chance to see a side of your arm that's not even out really today oh there you go there's the arm the arm has made an appearance. What am I looking out for on the way down here? Well, I'm always looking as far ahead as possible, not focusing on the end of my bonnet. Um, for two reasons. Number one, because we should always look far ahead, especially if you're pushing on a little bit. And number two, um, because I'm looking for oncoming traffic, cyclists, pedestrians, motorbikes, that sort of thing. I can see a white van down there, miles away. I mean, he's 30 seconds away. She, he, so no idea who's driving. But um, yeah, long, long way away. So I know that's coming, that's on the horizon. Um, there it is, coming to shop. So just bearing that in mind, just checking out the road. It is wide enough for two cars or a car and a van along here but just back down the pace a little bit. You don't want to scare them into making a silly move. Oh, this is just glorious. Really, really beautiful bit of road. And you don't need to be in anything special. I mean, it obviously is a bonus if you're in somewhere like an M3 or Taran's beautiful 911. Um, but anything along here, you know, a rally rental, 206 TDI or SDI or whatever they call it these days. Anything would be almost arguably just as much fun. 
especially going down the hill because you don't need power. What's that up there? Chateau or castle or something? Or it, does it look a little bit industrial? Yeah. It does, doesn't it? I mean, it's like a Old fort, maybe. Fort. Oh, the road down there. The road down there is insane. Wow, wow, wow. Absolutely beautiful. Here it is. Here is this incredible abandoned, abandoned. How many of you got that right? <laughs> Abandoned little village. And yeah, they've definitely done bits and pieces. It's just beautiful though. Real goosebumps going through here. It's just such an amazing part of the world. Great memories going through this exact part of the world. Beautiful little spot. And then you come out of here into one of the best sections of road on planet Earth. I remember the first time I came down here in my blue M135i back in 2014 it would have been, summer of 2014, and I just remember coming down here thinking, oh my, who laid this bit of tarmac? Now I'm not religious, but if there is a God, yeah. This was definitely laid by God. I mean, it's just <laughs> beautiful. And it's so open. You can see, again, for miles, there is nothing coming for a long, long way. So you can use all of the road. Just enjoy yourself. Not at a silly speed, uh, especially if you've got a camera car behind. I mean, what a bit of road. Actually in four-wheel drive sport with everything switched off on the way down here um, just because I'm not pushing and it's a nice mode to be in it's the mode I probably spend most of my time in and manual paddles always manual anything interesting manual paddles when you're on a motorway or just doing boring journeys to the shop or the supermarket just yeah leave it and also use it as a daily that's what's so great about something like an M3 is it does those daily duties very well. Not perfect, but very well. That's where we were, right at the top. Right at the top, in front. I reckon we dropped probably, I'm gonna estimate between 500 and 1,000 meters, but actually you've got no idea. Oh, there's an Audi coming up the hill. See, we didn't see that because this bit's not so open and visible. And there is the top again, right in front of us. Yeah, that's a long way. I wonder how long it would take to walk up there from here. Hmm. Quite a while, especially for me in my state. Anyway, see I'm rambling and talking a lot more on this because it's my second channel and I'm just being me. I'm just saying what I'm thinking, <laughs> which is quite dangerous actually, so I will hold back some of the stuff that I think about because yeah, I do have random thoughts in my head all the time. On oh, five over crest. precarious parking space. <laughs> it's like something out of, uh, what was the mini film? Italian job. Italian job, yes. Like the bus and the Italian job.
Right then guys, I think I'm going to turn the cameras off because uh, we've actually got to figure out where we're staying tonight. It's around here somewhere, but we don't know the exact location. So I need to look that up on my phone and that requires us to stop. So I'll switch the cameras off then. I hope you enjoyed this random video. Um, I just love these experiences. So I figured why not switch the cameras on and bring you lot along for this journey. This feeling of absolute freedom in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, just to me, life doesn't get any better than that. A little bit tight through here. Oh, nice little village. Oh, okay, right. Oh, whoops. Take it easy, see you at the next video. Bye.